In this video demonstration, we will configure Cisco Email Security Appliance Envelope Encryption. After logging in, navigate to Security Services, Ironport Email Encryption. If the feature is disabled, you must enable it. Accept the end user license agreement. Then we will add encryption profiles. We will configure three separate profiles with different options. The first profile I will call high security. Key service type will be Cisco registered envelope service. URL is the same. There are advanced settings that can be configured. I will select high security where the recipient must enter a password to open the encrypted message. If there is a link for your company's logo, you may supply that. Read receipts allow you to know when a user has opened a message. And in advanced, you can select the encryption algorithms as well as timeout values. For message security settings, since this is a high security envelope, I will disable secure reply all and secure message forwarding. Submit. Notice the provision status says not provisioned. In order to provision this, you must commit your changes. I will add a medium security. This allows the user to cache their credentials when opening envelopes. And I will enable secure reply all and Secure message forwarding. Finally, I will provision a no authentication required envelope or low security. This provides for the envelope to be opened by anyone who is in possession. Commit your changes. Now we see the provision button. You must provision before using. At this point, we will configure an outgoing content filter that uses the high security provide envelope encryption. We will look for a subject header, contains, notice I am escaping the special characters. I'll add an action. and submit. Next, I will configure an outgoing content filter for the medium security.
Again, I will use the subject header, slightly modifying. As you can see, I am building a repository of content filters. The paren question mark I makes it case insensitive. Commit my changes. Now I must apply these content filters in my outgoing mail policies. The default policies, I will select the content filters, enable content filters, commit my changes. This concludes this video demonstration.